helps you store information yeah. about other people in one app so you can always find them in the future. One additional thing that Adam is really uh, helpful right now is that it is a contactless exchange of information, especially now during the Corona crisis. It's really hard. It's really handy to have it. Right. So Adam has two components, the app and the card. The app itself stores information of other people so you can easily interact with them. And if you want to change your information, like your email, for example, you just change it in the app and everybody who has your card stored already has the update of your information. Uh, the next component is the card. The card itself is NFC and QR enabled. So all you have to do is let the other person scan your card or your QR code and your information are uh, exchanged immediately. Uh, we also have what we like to call an opportunity card where we enable adding users to have exclusive benefits from our partners like access to co-working spaces, access to events, the possibility to make payments and a lot more. We are currently in collaboration with 20 companies in Europe, like offering benefits from our for our users. Um, we actually started in June 2020, and so far we have 220 users in England, Austria, and Bosnia, but we are planning to expand to whole Europe by the end of the year. Uh, we have a roadmap for Adam that by 2021 we will basically incorporate several cards into one. We will have additional features and provide our users with a lot more benefits. Uh, so this is our roadmap for the next year. Uh, if you want to know or see how Adam works, you can easily scan the code here and you will automatically see uh, what the app does and how it works. So thank you very much and I'm open for questions. I guess there are no questions. You're welcome. Thank you. I think it's okay now. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, we're going to try to to share the screen. Just a sec. Yeah. No, es que quiero tocar aquí. Sí, está puesto. Ah, sí. Ok. No, no, no. So, sorry. Ok. No, no, no. Just a moment. Just a moment. One second. Okay. Okay. Good morning. We are Ana Monareo and Jorge Segado representing Quickers. We have made a great discovery and a concept a new target, the Quickers, whose main needs and pains are identity, visibility, acknowledgement, tools to share their knowledge and experience. Ben, who are the Quickers? Women who manage the most complex organizations in the world, their families. Quickers are able to do incredible things, to come back home after a hard day at work and tackle, for example, a baby bottle, 
three dinners, the wash, and six bills. Fritkers figure out how to fix that leaky faucet, talk with a teenager who doesn't want to listen to them, and make sure that Grandpa has all the care he needs. But Quickers are much more than all that. A Quaker decides which car to buy and which brands of milk and cereals they'll have for breakfast. A Quaker chooses the health maintenance organization that best meets their needs in the right life insurance policy. Whether their cookies have chocolate chips or not, which shoes their children will wear to go running, the family's bath jump, the detergent that washes the whites, the most refreshing soft drink, the sweetest jam, the mobile phone carrier with the most megas, which supermarket has the best offers, which product to use to clean the ceramic cooktop, which bank to trust with their savings, and where to spend the upcoming holidays. Uh, Quickers are more than 14 million people in Spain, and they represent uh, 50, 53% of the Spanish uh, GDP. Uh, we are a hyper-segmented community based on a platform, a useful marketplace for professionals, and the funnel of all those services needed by the family managers, the Quickers. This makes the difference with potential competitors. How do we solve uh, Quickers pain? Uh, we offer them a great community and an integrated platform to share solutions. We talk about an app and a website. Uh, we are integrating in the platform artificial intelligence to identify, segment, and qualify profiles in order to maximize the matching between quickers, professionals, companies, and institutions. Uh, we want to share our main financials with you. Uh, revenue split, uh, we forecast uh, 1.55 million euros of revenue in 2025. Uh, expenses distribution, um, we plan to be very focused on uh, user acquisition and technology. Uh, timeline. Uh, once uh, we close our first capital investment round of uh, 300 Ks uh, in 40 days, uh, we are aware that deployment speed is key to make higher entry barriers. Uh, we started in January. We develop, uh, the development of the app has already been finished, and now we will start a very small campaign to test the business model. The forecast is to reach almost 2 million users globally at the end of 2021. And here we can see uh, that we will uh, reach the break even in 2023. Here we are, the three women co-founders. Uh, the CTO is Fran Moreno, uh, not pictured here, and myself as the CEO with more than 20 years of experience in digital platforms uh, in Europe and Latin America. You can see our advisory board with experience in marketing, innovation, technology, cybersecurity, healthcare, and mass consumption. This is our conviction a purpose to offer the Quickers a new world, twisting around them a scalable platform to launch Spain in the first stage as the rest of the world into the next years, continuing with the United States, France and Mexico. Welcome to the most influential community in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If you have any question. Thank you very much. We guess that everything is clear enough. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Bye. I, okay, I will share the presentation at the moment. Okay. Okay, can you see the, the presentation? Okay, I, I'm going to, to start. Okay, hi, I am Guillermo Garcia, founder and CEO of Alumne and a startup from Madrid, Spain. Specialized in creating innovating learning experience uh, through technology. Uh, today, uh, I will show you our last solution, uh, LearnFit.com. Well, we have detected a problem. 49% of the jobs that exist today will disappear in the next 10 years. And this is not our opinion. This is a reality announced by many institutions, such as uh, Oxford University. Uh, oh, sorry. 
Sorry. Can you can you hear me? Hi. Yes, we can. Oh yes, yes we so, can hear you. So sorry, I I lost my my connection and uh, wait a moment, please. Oh sorry. Hi. No, it's all right. Uh, you can continue. You can continue. Oh. Yes. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to to repeat this this uh, this uh, keynote. Uh, we have detected a problem. 49% of the jobs that exist today will disappear in the next 10 years, and this is not our opinion. It's a reality announced by many institutions, such as uh, just for Oxford University, as I say. Uh, this is a great challenge. We will have to help professionals to transform their careers. And to meet this challenge, we have um, we need to enhance the most important skill of professionals in the digital age, the learnability. And what is learnability? Learnability is the ability to learn new things by your own way. This skill can be trained, and to do that, we have created learnifit.com. We think that the problem is not to learn a third time knowledge. The problem is training the habit of learn new things all the time by your own. To achieve our goal, our solution has three elements. The first one is the technology. Our solution combines artificial intelligence algorithms uh, with gamification elements to create, uh, to generate, to offer personalized learning challenges for its students. We create a unique learning experience focus on training the habit of continuous learning. The second element of our solution is the content. To complete the learning challenge that we create, uh, we generate with the artificial intelligence, we offer more than uh, 100, 100 courses and training contents in different categories, uh, such as marketing, soft skills or more. And the third element of our solution uh, is our exclusive learnability matrix. We measure the evolution of learnability with five uh, indicators, uh, curiosity, adaptation, motivation, positivity, and perseverance to see the evolution of each, each student during the time and personalize the experience for them. Well, and what about the money? Our business model is um, really simple. We offer 45 uh, days of free use of the platform for everyone. You can sign up at this time and use the platform for 45 days. And then we use a, a subscription model with two formulas, uh, one uh, or to, to B2C and one to B2B. Our goal is to reach as many students as possible. We will try to get 100,000 students in the next six months. And right now we are working only in Spanish, but we will also implement a first English version of the project to give it a global scale. Sorry for, for technical problems and thank you. <laughs> thank you. questions thank you thank you
Hear me? Okay, cool. Then I'll share my screen. Just a second. Um, I have the mic close to me. Um. I actually don't know what to do. Me, maybe disconnect. Can you hear me now? Now, uh, honestly, I don't know uh, what I can do, to be honest. Okay, okay, let me restart the computer. Thanks. Okay. Okay, can you hear me well? Uh, okay. Just a second. Okay, can you? Can you see my screen? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, perfect. And can, can, can I start? Okay. M morning, everybody. I'm Francisco, the CEO of CARTI. Um, CARTI is an education platform for learning through interactive images that can be created, shared, it, on download but it users. This is very important to understand our project because CARTI wants its users to be what creates content exponentially. Given the current context, we all realize the importance of digitizing education. And today the education is one of the great challenges. CARTI doesn't seek to replace the study. It seeks to be a complement in a fun and effective way. And the best thing is that you can learn any subject in any language through images, no matter where you live or what language you speak. That's why we created an application where you can learn through images, create your own content. If you what if, if, you, if what you're looking for doesn't exist, share it with other users or play with term with them. How do we do it? Very simple. Through images and terms. Do you remember when you had to buy the map of Spain to learn the province? With CARTI, you can learn through images in a progressive way because CARTI provides you with the terms little by little to learn it. Now, I'm going to open your minds and show you different examples. From biology, example the parts of a cell, geography, all types of city maps, anatomy, the parts of human body, and everything you can imagine uh, to art or language, for example, braille, music. CARTI works in a progressive way. It offers a study system based on learning by doing individually or collectively. And the best of CARTI, you can download a photo from internet, add a picture to your notes, and CARTI automatically detects the terms and creates your own content. It's simple. We summarize CARTI in 
e-learning, entertainment, content creation, and community. Our metrics, four months of life and 15,000 users, 3,000 diagrams created and more than 15% in other languages. The road, or, or, or roadmap is like a rocket. Uh, in the next months, we hope introduce CARTI in classroom because the teachers and the school needs uh, new edtechs. This is CARTI. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, yes, hello. Hello, do you see me? Okay, perfect, great. And now I share my screen. One second. Okay, do you, do you see my screen? Okay, perfect. Okay, so whenever you want, I start and that's it. Okay, so good morning. My name is Mikel and I'm introducing you the Filmpedia. It's a startup where we re revolutionize the way we learn. First, I have a pop whiz, but doesn't, don't worry, it doesn't count for the final note. Uh, do you remember the name of this dinosaur? Uh, yes, it's a Triceratops. I learned it when I was a kid watching Jurassic Park and I still remember it nowadays. We think that films are strong full tools to, to learn about many subjects. I, watching Jurassic Park, Park, I also learned about biology, genetics and or history. And at the same time, I was also learned about soft skills like problem solving, stress management or creative thinking, watching Alan Grant uh, reaching this crisis with their T-Rex. It's what we created, what we call a Netflix for learning. A Netflix for learning is a video learning platform where we collect existing films, documentaries, short films and fictions, and we collect uh, on our platform and we put them uh, through uh, on uh, tagged by uh, curriculum subjects. Um, but why films and video are so strong for tools for learning? Well, we know that kids actually are really engaged with uh, with audiovisual contents like TikTok, YouTube, and also projects like uh, LinkedIn Learning, Domestica, or Khan Academy. Uh, you know, they are um, showing there is a market for video learning. They are more focused on hard skills, and we focused on soft skills and and curriculum subjects. On the other hand, teachers spend more than 10 hours per week trying to find good content, and most of the time they find it illegally. So, and also there's an opportunity because most of the classrooms are equipped with uh, projectors. So there, there, there is a big opportunity and a blue ocean there too we, have to, we want to explore and we are exploring. So what we offer, Filmpedia offers from one side, we offer uh, a video on demand catalog, so a teacher can easily and quickly find the film and a quality film to use in the day by day. And on the other hand, what we do is we collect these films and we go through our team of pedagogical team. So each film is watched and tagged. And on top of the film, we put a, a pedagogical um, suggestion or pedagogical um, resource. So we transform an entertainment content to an edutainment content. This way we save time to the teachers and we secure them they are 100% uh, legal. Our milestones is they have more than 300 films and more than 500 pedagogical trips actually. Uh, and we also, in during the pilot, we did uh, several researches and have like the quality um, demonstration of it, that it then uh, kids say that it's funnier than opening a book or they, they help to express uh, themselves. So we also been uh, validated qualitatively by the prices. The last one is with uh, Santan Lake Tomorrow Challenge. We are really proud of it and also with uh, City Hall of Barcelona would be one the first price of uh, social impact. 
We are a team. Uh, we will be working together to more than two years uh, uh, in a previous project, so we know each other. We are really balanced. And our business model, it's B2B. We go to the schools and we sell B2B. We are opening now to families and to teachers in a, in a premium model that we know that will help to, to, uh, to nurture the, the B2B model. And we are starting to do pilots uh, with uh, business schools, uh, more digital business schools, and NGOs like Fundació Football Club Barcelona that we are doing a project actually. Our roadmap is to scale up Filmpedia in the next 12 months, and we have two main challenges to enlarge our catalog and to growth and to do a marketing campaign. For this, we are in an open round. We have uh, signed more than three, uh, 35 uh, Ks, and we are uh, with Borsa Social. We will do a, a, in next month, we will do a, a crowd equity round that will uh, help us to, to, to grow. So, this way, we are planning to have the 10% of the market share in, in Spain, and after we go to, to Latam. So uh, we love films and we love learning. And if we also learn, think that uh, films can change the education, we will be really happy to, to talk with you. Thank you. Hello. If you remember what? So sorry. No, no. I'm a, I'm a pitcher. I'm I'm going to pitch from Magna Plus. Thank you. I start. Gaston from my Gaston. Is that for me, Magna Blues is not next. Yes, can okay, I try to share my screen? Can you see the screen? Yeah, so I begin. Yeah. OK. Uh, hi, my name is Rosa Perez, and I'm the co-founder of Reptin, a social impact project. Our goal is to educate and protect children and teens from the race of the Internet, social networks, and mobile phones. The arrival of technology in our lives has meant that for the first time, parents cannot accompany their children where they spend more and more time, which is the digital environment. And the more the digital transformation advances, the more exposed we leave them to digital risk. In addition, COVID-19 has accelerated the digital transformation of education, making it essential to provide schools with cyber safe environments and digital competence to use technology safely. The solution to close the digital gap is to train schools and families with the three pillars that supports digital well-being: cyber safe environments, prevention and digital competence, and technology to secure and monitor the digital activity. And this is a good scholar, a solution designed to solve a problem. Thanks to Gap Times Case Centric Methodology, Segur Escola is a full solution because it reaches teachers, students, and families, and is customized based on the risks that are identified in each classroom. Segur Escola has been implemented in 11 schools. The last one was the Montessori School in La Paz in Bolivia, which was completed online. 
generating a direct impact on more than 800 students, more than 200 teachers and more than 500 families. We have identified critical vulnerabilities in cybersecurity of all of the schools, and we have also detected an average of one case of bullying and two and a half cases of student excluded for each class. We are a senior and multidisciplinary team uh, formed by Veronica Lozano, who brings experience in business administration, me, Rosa Perez, director of the digital education area, and Roberto Alvarez, our CEO, with more than 20 years of experience in technology and cybersecurity. In addition, we have the mentoring of SIP2E, SEC Lab, and Berry Apple and we have collaboration agreements with the University of Deusto, the Complutense University of Madrid, and the SEC institution in Spain. We want to maximize our impact by making our solution more scalable. To get this, we need to automate kid-centric manual processes. Uh, we also want to increase our team in Bilbao and Madrid and invest in marketing and branding to make Segur Escola a standard for educational cybersecurity. For this, we request for uh, 450,000 euros to accelerate, to accelerate our mission of bringing cybersecurity and digital competence to schools all around the world. This will allow us to go from billing 200,000 in 2020 to 20 million in 2023, reaching a break even a few months after receiving the investment. And that's all. Thanks for your attention and let's talk about the new education. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, just let me put this full screen. Okay, uh, can you can can you see the full screen? Okay, uh, so uh, I will start then. So my name is uh, Manuel Pimenta. I'm from Fractal Minds, and I'm here to tell you how we're using outliers to beat the engagement crisis. So uh, Outliers, our product, is a gamification platform uh, targeted for a specific context of today's workforce. And that context is what we call the engagement crisis. So we all know that most employees in their day-to-day -day activities, they are not engaged in what they are doing. And with millennials and Gen Z now taking over the workforce, this will only get worse. Uh, and the fact is that has a real impact, both in uh, loss of productivity and in turnover costs. So what we did is we uh, gathered a, a crack team of experts uh, from several fields, from game design, software development, gamification, uh, marketing and management. And we designed, uh, uh, we partnered with uh, uh, Leash Polys, where we were incubated and uh, Tribe Global, which is a network of independent agencies, one of the biggest in the world, uh, with agencies in over 30 countries. And we designed the process uh, that allows us to deep dive into the employee experience uh, and using game thinking, set up our gamification platform with the right mechanics to solve uh, their uh, problems. And that's uh, where it all started in Vorten uh, back in uh, 2014, uh, where we gamified the day-to-day -day activities of uh, around 3,000 employees in over 200 stores. And by increasing the employee satisfaction, we also increased the overall sales revenue. And since then, we've been working with uh, multiple clients uh, uh, with uh, this same technology and the same process, with clients like Adidas, Vodafone, uh, Superboc, and even Rock and Rio. And now uh, we are able to say that Outliers uh, is our battle-tested gamification platform with a set of pre-built game mechanics that allows us to balance both uh, extrinsic mechanics and uh, uh, intrinsic mechanics to reward both in short-term and long-term uh, engagement with employees. 
And uh, where we stand regarding our competition is that our competitors are either one trick pony, so close products with a limited scope, uh, or boutique consulting firms that build uh, each solution from scratch. And with outliers, we already have the technology to build uh, everything really fast, but also allowing it to be customized to each client's needs. And so there is a big market space in gamification uh, and uh, mostly in empl uh, employee gamification. And with uh, the gamers now arriving in the workforce and taking over the workforce, uh, that market space is only expected to grow for the, for the, the, the next couple of years. Uh, right now, we were able to uh, prepackage outliers to address uh, smaller companies with a, an off the shelf uh, version but also uh, address larger companies with a fully tailor-made version of our product. And since uh, 2014, since that first project, we've been really developing outliers in the field with multiple clients and presented it finally at Web Summit in 2018. And right now we feel we're ready to scale uh, internationally. And that's why we're seeking around 300K of investment. We've, so far we've been fully bootstrapped. And so now we are eager to grow the development team to grow our modules and our features and go for AI and create an automation, uh, uh, automate our predictive engine for gamification. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. OK, that's good. Um, then I will. Try to share my window. Where is the? Uh, uh -huh. Can you see the screen? Can you see the presentation? Uh, no, we cannot see OK, it. wait just a second. Uh, now you should be able to see it. Can you confirm? Do you see my presentation? Yes. OK, 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 good. OK, so um, this is Enrique de Miguel from Encantado de Comerte. I'm uh, the co-founder of uh, the company and COO. Uh, and the first question that I, that I want to uh, ask is why we are here. And we are here because every year, one third of the world food, food production is wasted. And this happens while 43 million people in Europe don't have access to a proper nutrition. Please, I want to make this clear. Um, so basically, our solution is a B2B2C market which connects local food stores with final users. And this is the key point, including vulnerable families or families with low incomes. So um, the solution is quite straightforward. Um, the food is offered, the, fruit, the food from the different stores or restaurants is offered in, for, in form of um, generic packs um, to a fixed price, as you can see here. Um, once the, the user buys it, um, he receives a receipt on the phone. And the last step is just to go to the store um, and pick the pack from the store. And at this point, most probably uh, you will think, oh, well, I know some other companies doing this, right? Because there are other competitors. But I have to tell you, you are wrong and why? Because as you can see in this image, um, actually there are some other competitors uh, tackling the food waste problem. There are also some other solutions for the malnutrition problem. But in our case, what, I'm, what, I, what is written here is that the way EDC Encantado de Comerte tackles the food waste problem and malnutrition in vulnerable families makes this a unique and disruptive project. Um, so our solution basically has 
uh, four wins. On the one hand, the users um, get the good food at reduced price. On the other hand, retailers um, have extra benefits, increased visibility and new clients. Um, also, the planet benefits from our solution. And this is the most important thing, NGOs and social service have, have now a new tool to provide help to low income families. Um, the, the, the way we make money is actually pretty simple. Um, it's based on, on the one side on microtransactions. So each single user buys a pack and, and, and we get money from it. Um, and on the other hand, we have our B2B model um, with NGOs or social institutions like Cruz Roja, for example, or Caritas. Uh, we already have agreement with them and, and we sell them 1,000 or microtrans microtransactions in one big transaction. Is like um, selling selling the transaction in advance. Um, this is our team. Uh, we are basically um, five people: um, Gabriel, which is the CEO; me, COO; Silvia, Adrian, and um, Alicia. Um, basically, this is all. Um, at the uh, uh, today, uh, we have already reached twenty-five thousand users in less than uh, in less than two years of operation. We actually launched our app um, uh, this year in April. And uh, we have more than 150 stores in four cities in Spain. Um, and we have already sold more than 5,000 packs, um, also reaching 60 vulnerable families. Um, I wanna take also the opportunity to, to say that we are now in, a, in La Bolsa Social. Um, uh, we are looking for investment um, and we were selected for the special COVID edition this year. And um, that's all. Thank you. Yeah, I, I have a question from my side. Sure. Um, okay, this is a nice project. Um, um, congrats for the project. My question Thanks. is about your, your kind of platform. It's a drop shopping platform or it's only put in contact a product or with consumption or your agreement with NGO, for example, uh, is uh, uh, not only a um, um, transfer to part of the delivery, it's only uh, with the local productor, for example? Um, let me explain um, quick. We basically connect stores with users, right? In the app, we offer the surplus food, the surplus food of the uh, stores. So you, as a user, you can buy this food and go to the restaurant. So basically, we are we are working as a link. On the other hand, with the NGOs, for example, with Caritas, um, Caritas already work with many families. Mm -hmm. um, in this project we did, um, we they selected they selected 60 families, um, and uh, we um, we started contact with those families. We provide them with a uh, with a link to download the app, we assisted we assisted them with the installation uh, installation, and they could go for food as you as a user, but um, they didn't pay for it. It's Caritas who paid for those um, packs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. Okay, okay. thank you. Sí, Magna Plus.
So I'll, I start, I, I go next. Magna Plus is next. So I start sharing my, 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 Okay, I go out, so I share my screen. Ready? Hi, my name is Gaston Cunio. I am the CEO and founder of Magna Plus. Magna Plus is an educational platform that we have developed since 2016 targeting our B2B and our B2G verticals. And at the end of 2019, we began to develop our beta version of Magna Plus B2C. Since the appearance of COVID-19, our growth has been exponential since both public and private institutions were not prepared to introduce a digital educational proposal. Almost all institutions currently have at least one proposal, such as Google Classroom, Zooms, Teams, or any other platform, but not all the institutions are having acceptable results, and that is what we saw for Magna Plus. The new normal will feature new technologies in education, and from Magna Plus, we, we are prepared to support teachers, students, and parents in this great challenge. Magna Plus is the only online platform that offers certified content officially approved for students to learn remotely and gamified simply to introduce for private and public institutions and in a very effective teacher training program. But I want to talk especially about this new vertical that we are launching, our B2C. In all Magna Plus verticals, gamification is very important and all users, students, teachers and parents get points and stars depending on their interaction in the platform. The most important difference in Magna Plus B2C is that all profiles have the possibility to learn and also to teach. This basic concept is that not only a teacher can teach, but also a student or a parent can do it and receive a compensation in return. In Magna Plus B2C, we introduce blockchain technology, so users can trade points and stars in compensation for services they want, that they want to offer inside or outside the platform, such as that a student can teach another student a particular topic that they want to learn. The market size only in Latin America, which is our first step, is estimated in $15 billion opportunity. We know their users very well, and from 2016 to date, we have more than 400,000 registered users in our platforms with operations in the target market. Our business model, on one hand, we offer the users a freemium version and also a premium version where users can interact with the platform in an unlimited way. And in the other hand, we offer select companies to sponsor Magna Plus and with their contributions achieve the possibility that users can acquire goods and services with the stars obtained. Magna Plus, the Magna Plus executive, ex executive team has a long history and the support of an advisory board with more than 45 years of experience in the Spanish speaking education field. Welcome to Magna Plus B2C. Thank you very much. And here you can find my contact information. Thank you. Hi, okay, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Okay, let me know when you can see my screen. Okay, perfect. Hi everyone, my name is Alex Bea, Chief Strategy Officer at Smalltech. And well, I'm here today to talk about how to build trust in online learning environments and why is that important. 
For example, last week, a friend of mine, Patrick, um, was working at his hospital and committed a negligence that got Maria really, really sick. Although he got an online certification for nursing, he didn't acquire the knowledge. His friend Kai took the online exam for him. While online learning is growing exponentially, um, academic institutions are struggling to maintain academic integrity. Because how can they assure that the student doing any kind of online activity is the correct one or is behaving correctly? Well, this is why we have developed SMALL. Our aim is to support institutions, enhance the quality assurance of online learning by providing an artificial intelligence tool using e proctoring. The online learning market is, has been for the recent years already growing, but because of the current context, um, it has uh, impact dramatically in the in the institution and accelerating the digital transformation, which is making that the market is, is growing a lot. Um, our company is located in Spain, but we are present uh, globally, you know, uh, where we um, have partners in different countries in order uh, to enter those markets. So our recent partnership that we have signed is with OpenLMS, a leading Moodle SaaS solution uh, that was recently acquired by LTG Group. We make money selling our software as a service um, to higher education institutions or, or corporates and, and selling licenses per exam or per user. Where we have seen a, a big competition in the US market, uh, but also a great opportunity to uh, disrupt it with a, a unique approach that we have. Um, as being a European company, we fully comply with the GDPR, and we have in our core of our company the privacy by design. We also focus very much on, on the user experience and how to provide an efficient and cost effective uh, solution that is also scalable, putting also a focus on being modular and customizable to each institution pedagogical methodology. We have been able to achieve this with a, a great team combining experience and, and young talent that also has enabled us to work with leading institutions like um, UNIR, WOC, uh, VIEW or uh, leading prestigious uh, business school like IE University, but also on the uh, corporate or certi certification market where we have been working with different um, banks and uh, working with certification, finance certifications. No? And all this has uh, driven into a great growth in, in, in the recent uh, months uh, where we have been able to grow in, in revenues, exam monitor and uh, customers acquire. In order to continue with um, this growth, uh, we are looking for strategic investors um, to come along with us in this path and continue uh, investing in edtech and in our case, to be really focused on on on, on the product that we are uh, developing. No? Thank you very much.